So it's wonderful to be able to be with everybody on Facebook this morning. Sorry if you can't always hear the sound uh, as well as we'd like. This is due to my um, laptop, which I'm afraid that's not something I can easily rectify. But hopefully you will be able to hear enough of us this morning to worship the Lord with us. Good morning, Gar. Good morning, Richard. It is wonderful to be able to worship with Garth over in Ipsley. Is the sun shining on you this morning? It is, yes. It's a lovely day outside. I think this is this looks like being the best day this week, so I hope people can get outside and enjoy it. Uh, today we've got a couple of Psalms and a reading from Luke chapter seven. So, O Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. In your resurrection, O Christ. Let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. We say the Easter anthems. Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for us, so let us celebrate the feast. Not with the old leaven of corruption and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Christ, once raised from the dead, dies no more. Death has no more dominion over him. In dying he died to sin once for all. In living he lives to God. See yourselves therefore as dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who sleep. For as by man came death, by man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Amen. So we'll go to Psalm 114 and straight on to Psalm 148. When Israel came out of Egypt, the house of Jacob from a people of a strange tongue, Judah became his sanctuary, Israel his dominion. The sea saw that and fled. Jordan was driven back. The mountains skipped like rams, the little hills like young sheep. What ailed you, O sea, that you fled? O Jordan, that you were driven back? You mountains that you skipped like rams, you little hills like young sheep. Tremble, O earth, at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the God of Jacob. Who turns the hard rock into a pool of water, the flintstone into a springing well. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Psalm 148. Alleluia. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise him, all you his angels. Praise him, all his host. Praise him, sun, moon, and sun and moon. Praise him, all you stars of light. 
praise him, heaven of heavens, and you waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded and they were created. He made them fast forever and ever. He gave them a law which shall not pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, you sea monsters and all deeps. Fire and hail, snow and mist, tempestuous wind fulfilling his word. Mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars. Wild beasts and old cattle, creeping things and birds on the wing. Kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all rulers of the world. Young men and women, old and young together, let them praise the name of the Lord. For his name only is exalted, his splendor above earth and heaven. He has raised up a horn of his people and prays for all his faithful servants and the children of Israel, a people who are near him. Alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Our New Testament reading is taken from Luke chapter 7 and beginning at verse 11. Soon afterwards, he went to a town called Nain, and his disciples and a large crowd were with him. As he approached the gates of the town, a man who had died was being carried out. He was his mother's only son, and she was a widow. And with her was a large crowd from the town. When the Lord saw her, he had compassion for her and said to her, Do not weep. Then he came forward and touched the buyer, and the bearers stood still. And he said, Young man, I say to you, rise. The young man sat up and began to speak, and Jesus gave him to his mother. Fear seized all of them, and they glorified God, saying, A great prophet has risen among us, and God has looked favorably on, this pe on his people. This word about him spread throughout Judea and all the surrounding country. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your sting? Christ is risen from the dead the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. Death is swallowed up in victory. The trumpet will sound and the dead shall be raised. Where, O oh death, is your sting? We shall not sleep, but we sh shall be changed. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your sting? The Lord is risen from the tomb, who for our sakes hung upon the tree. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old, to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life and you child shall be called the prophet of the most high for you will go before the lord to prepare his way 
to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The Lord is risen from the tomb, who for our sakes hung upon the tree. Alleluia. So as we come to prayer, we bring before the Lord the role of his church in the difficult places of the world, in those challenging situations. And we pray that somehow God's people will be able to shine as lights in the darkness. Mm -hmm to be a positive presence, to maintain their testimony and to keep their faith intact despite the pressures that they are under. We recognize that our brothers and sisters will have had their livelihoods under threat, their families under threat. Though all those things that they hold dear may be at risk, we recognize the tremendous challenge that there is to faith under those circumstances. And we could name many nations before the Lord where this is presently the case. Lord, have mercy upon your oppressed people. Grant them grace to know an especial closeness of your presence, to sustain them through their darkest hours. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. And Lord Jesus, as you met with your disciples in the upper room after your resurrection, the first words you spoke to them were, peace be with you. And Lord, we are just so mindful that in our world, there is such a lack of peace. There is a lack of peace in places where war and violence still continues even despite a pandemic. There is a lack of peace in the hearts and lives of those who are displaced uh, and having to find a new place of sanctuary, a new place to lay down their heads. There's a lack of peace in those, Lord, even where there is no violence and, and yet they're seeking for something more. And we pray that would not the Prince of Peace, the Judge of all, do what is right. We pray that there might be peace. We pray that where there is violence, there would be forgiveness. There would be restitution. That where there is uncertainty, Lord, you would bring hope. We pray that there, where there is a lack of peace simply because of a life of selfishness, that, Lord, we might be able to learn to live our lives for others and thinking of others. And we pray for the leaders of our nations of the world, 
Lord, with the decisions they have to make, that they might, Lord, make decisions which are just and wise and godly and right. That would be for the good of all. That they would rise above petty politics and their own partisanship, but Lord, that they might be able to rule as those under your rule, Lord. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. We thank the Lord for the vaccination program mm -hmm. and for the way in which so many people have been vaccinated. We thank the Lord for the way in which this is happening, not just in the UK, but in various parts of the world. We thank the Lord for the acceleration of the program in the United States, knowing that that will touch and affect many. We thank the Lord for the development of new vaccines and of uh, Amen. more variations becoming available. We pray for tremendous wisdom as to how to use and distribute the different vaccines for the blessing and benefit, not just for well-off nations like our own, but for the poor nations mm -hmm. as well. Remember before the Lord those countries that are struggling to contain COVID still, and we pray that the Lord will give them success in doing so. We bring before the Lord those people that are still denying COVID or, den or want to avoid being vaccinated. And we pray that the Lord will have mercy upon them and change their thinking. Mm. And we pray that the Lord will lead us steadily towards a place where we are able to have relaxed restrictions and yet still prosper without an increase of infection. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Mm. Father, we bring before you those within our own communities who are sick, those known to us and those Lord, who have nobody to pray for them, who are facing, Lord, challenges and difficulties each day. For those who are sick, for those who are lonely, for those, Lord, who are finding their financial situation just so difficult to cope with. For those who Lord, the enforced lockdown has had an effect on their mental health. For those with little children. And Lord Jesus, as we bring those who are suffering, those who are struggling, those who feel downtrodden, and those who are brokenhearted. And we pray, Lord, that you would be with them this day. That you would brighten up that day just a little bit more. That you would strengthen their hope. That you would fill them with your joy. Lord, this day may something happen in their lives or something be done that would bring them joy. That would be your gift to them. We pray that, Lord, as opportunity presents, we might be able to share your love with them, the love of our Lord. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. Um, our prayer. We've been before the Lord his church today, and we especially lift before the Lord um, our bishops, not just our bishops here in Worcester Diocese, but across the nation, 
charged with providing leadership in challenging times. And we especially pray that the Lord will guide the diocese of the nation as we seek to navigate our way to a better place in the months to come. We lift before the Lord the greater Dudley Deanery and we pray that as they learn to work together with imagination, creativity and courage, that the mission of the church will develop in new ways across this new deanery. We bring before the Lord the area dean, David Hoskin, his sub-deans, Rachel Newell Andrews, and Andrew Sillis, and the lay chair, John Nicholson, and the treasurer, Michael Bishop. We pray that the Lord will give them success in their endeavours in the way that pleases the Lord and which he calls success. We bring before the Lord the Diocese of Bentiu in southern Sudan and Bishop John Gattic and we pray that the Lord will help southern Sudan to form itself together as a peaceful nation and that the church will be a great force for blessing and reconciliation as well as spiritual and numerical growth. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. So as we trust the Lord for our days, that he might be our guardian and our guide, we also remember before him in this Easter week our thankfulness for his death and resurrection for us. Lord of all life and power, who through the mighty resurrection of your Son overcame the old order of sin and death to make all things new in him, Grant that we, being dead to sin and alive to you in Jesus Christ, may reign with him in glory. To whom with you and the Holy Spirit be praise and honour, glory and might, now and in all eternity. Amen. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Garth. Notice there's somebody on the phone who has not been listening to morning prayer live. I know, I know. <laughs> Have a really good day, everybody. And uh, Garth, the Lord bless you and all your work in Ipsley. Thank you, and the same to you where you are, Richard. Bye for now, everybody. Bye.